Look how clear that water is. This is beautiful, this park is, but just as calm as can be running down through there. I'm trying to locate the waterfalls, but I don't know. Have to see if I get to them or not. But uh, isn't that beautiful? You hear the sound of the water? I'll shut up for a second. Isn't that a cool sound? And look how clear that water is down there. Pretty nice. Okay, this is where I'm at now. I'm going to walk on down to the waterfalls and see what it's all about. But got little benches. Real nice path to walk to. Got the outhouse right there. So let's go check it out. There you go. There's some good information for you. Bears, they say they're. 19,000 bears in Michigan and 85% of them are up here in the Upper Peninsula. Pretty cool. It's kind of hard to get to them because you have to just walk through the woods, but I guess these are the waterfalls right here. There we go. That's about a shot I got, but if you come down here, you might want to bring you a walking stick because it's a pretty good walk down through here. They got steps, but... These woods are really dense, but there's my first waterfall I found, but pretty cool, actually. I'm trying to get different shots of it, but that's not my mic cutting out. That is actually what the waterfalls, that's how loud they are, but that is pretty cool. I'm enjoying this walk through the woods. You better kind of like watch where you walk coming down through here because it's Route City, but isn't that pretty? That is really something else right there. Some hellacious views up here on this. I'm just getting all kinds of different views of it because it, to me it's so pretty. I mean, the water is so clear running down through there. But yeah. Don't know if y'all can make that out or not. But straight ahead, look at all the logs piled up on those waterfalls over there. Nothing I can do about the tree branches in the way. I mean, it's just nature. There's a good sized tree right there. It fell across the trail and they had to cut it up pretty big. I would say so. It was worth the walk coming down through these woods to find these right here. That's probably besides Niagara Falls, that's probably one of the biggest waterfalls I've ever seen, but pretty sweet, isn't it? Just watch it here for a second. Let me get a closer view of it. There you go. About a shot closer view, but I mean, imagine walk across those rocks, they'd blow you away, wouldn't they? You'd be going downstream in a heartbeat. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. There you can see, coming on down. Watch waterfalls forever, man. Really nice. And of course, you got Sniffy walking all around, sniffing everything. But they got all kind of trailheads in this park. I mean, almost every place you look, they got a trailhead, and you just go down the path and see what you find. But and all the paths are real nicely marked. I mean, as you can see, that's a pretty nice path. And they all have a lot of information on what's down there and. All that good stuff, but yeah, the paths are really nice. Boy, I, ho I hope this walk was worth it because it was pretty easy going down, but it's going to be pretty rough going back up. But I'm getting ready to go across the suspension bridge, but there it is. Pretty cool, isn't it? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Well, it doesn't move. Boy, I'm shooting right into the sun. See if I can go down here. Wow, look at that view right there. Water's going straight out to the lake, I reckon. I'm not really sure where it's going to, but that is really nice right there. Really nice. Look at the people down there on the rock. But there you go, there's the waterfalls. Pretty nice. We're bouncing around a little bit, but there ain't nothing I can do about that one. Yeah. Pretty nice, isn't it? Yeah. Sun might be washing it out, I'm not sure, but 
That's sweet right there, it really is. Give y'all an overhaul view of it all, but I can stay here forever and listen to that water roll through there. Really nice. Well, time to make that long walk back up to the car. I'm not looking forward to this, but you gotta do what you gotta do if you wanna get back to the car. Going to check out the campground now. I forgot how big it is, but this is uh, last campground in the state park. So let's go ahead and go check that out. And I think it's a pretty good sized park. I'm not sure if they have electric though, but yeah, let's go check it out, see what it's like. Okay, this is the last campground. I'll spell the name out for y'all so y'all know, but it had a sign the other side is no generators loud, so I guess generators are loud right here, but yeah, this is strictly primitive. All you go have is a fire pit and a picnic table, but look at the view got out of this site right here. Man sitting here having a fire, eating at your picnic table. And this is a view you have. Pretty nice. Actually, right here on the water. Pretty nice. Pretty wooded, too. I mean, if you want to get away from it all, this is where you come. But, yeah, this is from the back of the site right here. That's pretty sweet. Give you all an idea. I'm at the Brown Campground up there, and I think they got like 40 campsites, maybe more. I'm not really sure, but the Green Campsite down the right, at the, down the bottom, that's Union Bay. But I'm in the Brown Campground now, and it's, uh, this is all rustic camping. I don't even know if they got water down here. I'm not really sure, but yeah, it's right on Lake Superior. 40 sites, but really super shaded down in here. I will say that. Okay. Look at the size of that tree right there. There's a loan a book, borrow a book place, but this is where we are right now. Y'all can freeze it if you want and check it out, but really nice campsite. I like those trees, but look how shaded it is. And you do have a lot of green grass, but yeah. It's a nice, I believe this is a non-generator side right here, so... If you have to run a generator, you got to stay on the other side. But if you don't have to run a generator, you can stay here. But isn't it pretty? It really is. Really super pretty. Well, I had a good day of sweating going down those steps. So pretty well wore out. I mean, getting a little bit too old to do all this running around. But anyway, y'all enjoyed the video. See you in my next one. We finally made it to Wisconsin. Headed to Minnesota. I'm only like four and a half hours away. But I'm going to stop along the way someplace because of... Rally doesn't start until Thursday, and I got camp spots for Tuesday and Wednesday, leave Thursday morning, so I'll get into back it's probably Thursday afternoon and go to the show and have a good time, and yeah, I hope to have a good time, but anyway, made it, made it to Wisconsin, though, so let's keep on getting up. Well, we made it to Minnesota. It's been a long day. It really has been. I've been trying to get reservations at some of the Corps of Engineering campgrounds and their website's not working or whatever, but finally I got, I got four days, but I couldn't get one for tonight, so I guess I'm about to find some place to boondock tonight, but it's a little humid, but the good thing is gas in Minnesota is on um, 422 a gallon, where I've been paying $5, so yeah, that's really super cool, but I'm in a rest stop now, and in Minnesota rest stops, you all allowed to park overnight, so I might do that, or I might keep driving. I only got like two hours of backers. And I usually stay in that restaurant parking lot. So I don't know. Just play it by ear and see how things turn out. But I'm giving a little man a break right now. Little man, what are you doing? Huh? Little man. Hey. Little man, what are you doing? I just looking around, Daddy. You know me, just looking all over the place. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. See what I can find, Daddy. See what I can find. Oh, there you go, old Snippy. Come on, baby. You just turn that grass up, ain't you? You smell something. I do, Daddy. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Stop, take a little bit of a break. I'm in a rest stop. Let little man out. Uh, yeah, going to the next campsite. 
it's a Corps of Engineering campground, but got up this morning just started driving because I couldn't find no place really to eat. I mean, wasn't that much in the town, but yeah, pretty cool little wayside rest stop right here. Let's go see what little man's doing. Here's old little man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come on, baby, come over here. Oh, check that out. I think it goes down to a lake. Yeah, it does. That's pretty nice. Here come old little man. How's it coming, daddy? How's it, big boy? How's it coming? Yeah, see, I go where my daddy goes. I go right along with him. Yeah. <laughs> always sniffing, always looking. But yeah, got trails down there and everything, so. Yep, well, time to get back on the road. Come on, baby. That's a good boy, so I'm a hustling daddy, yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna stop and slip around some more. Well, I'll let y'all guess where I'm at. Uh, we did make it to my destination, Menard, Minnesota. And tomorrow we go over to Pokegam, Corps of Engineering Campground, but I couldn't get nothing for tonight, so I'm doing the Walmart thing tonight. But anyway, we made it, so here we are. And, um, let me find a little man. There's my baby. I let him get out and run around. I just have to watch him a whole lot because you know how that goes. But today, uh, that piece right there fell off the trail, I guess, and I wore it out. So duct tape fixes everything. So that's what I did. Put duct tape on it. That's the only thing I need to do to keep my cord. Spend the night here, get up in the morning. We want to over to our Corps of Engineering campground. I think we got two nights over there and from there we're going over to Gold Lake for two nights and then we're going to the rally. So that's the game plan. 